Chapter 9. A Private Presentation I was breathing like nobody's business. Marianne and I talked to the dean and the principal about the capsule. They were very gracious, and I was surprised I didn't get a warning or anything like that about wearing my fedora because it's supposedly out of the dress code. I walked out of the dean's office, and Marianne followed me. You know, uh, Danny, is it? Prom is coming, and, and I might need a date. She held my hand. I didn't know what to do or say, and I was read as, well, you know. Michael came to the window of the offices and saw our hands holding each other's. He rolled his eyes and stomped off. The next day, the three of us were in the library studying for a test when we heard a voice come over the intercom. Can Danny Wilcox, Marianne Summers, and Michael Lewis come to the gym, please? I had no idea what I had done or my friends, but I knew it couldn't be that bad. What could go wrong in the gymnasium? The three of us walked down the hall to the gym, and there was Mr. Wrightley, Mr. Thompson, and Mr. Imant on the stage holding a piece of paper and the time capsule. Mr. Wrightley spoke in a stern voice to us. Daniel James Wilcox, Michael Edward Lewis, and Marianne Rose Summers. Are these the ones responsible for discovering the relic of the school's history, Mr. Imant? Well, uh, yes, sir. And it's actually Danny's doing, Marianne stated. Oh. <sighs> Why did you have to speak up, I said. Yeah, technically he found it, Michael intruded. Shut up, I said. Those beads of sweats from before started to return and my head started to lower. Mr. Wrightley's voice then changed. Well, Mr. Wilcox, I don't exactly know how you or your friends did it, but I can only say thank you, and this will be placed in the hallway display case. My head shot up like someone had just scared me. Something that I had a part in was going to be displayed in the hallway display case. I mean, that's a big deal. Uh, thank you very much, and, and thank you to my friends. Uh, this is just wonderful. I soon backed off. I was getting a little too excited. The staff members then welcomed all three of us up on stage and handed us those pieces of paper, which happened to be certificates, and Mr. Iman gave each of us a high five and a wink at me. I winked at him back so he knew that his predictions had come true. Weeks passed and kids, staff, and teachers all stopped by to look at the school's old-time relic and read the history about it. In fact, that's what the rest of the story is. History. However, you probably want to go back to the ship from the beginning of the story and just see what happened.